today's video on Kitchen Yetu, I'm going all the way to East Africa, Kenya with a Swahili cuisine called Samaki Wakupaka, simply meaning fish in coconut sauce. Come on in, let's get started. First things first, we got a fresh fish from the seafood market. So there, it's already gutted. The scales has already been removed. They already cleaned it for me, but I like to bring it back home and just do my own cleaning. So here I'm just rinsing it with water. I'm also going to use my kitchen scissor and just cut off the fins. Who would want to eat that? So we're just going to cut it off. I'm also going to trim the, the tail because we don't really need all this, okay? So I'm going to trim it out real good. And we are going to discuss that and we'll continue with the cleaning process. Just a quick disclaimer. Now, I know some people feel some type of way if they see a fish with its head on. You know, um, to make this recipe, don't feel shy. You know, when you, if you like seafood, you like tilapia, you can just go ahead and ask the people at the fish um, seafood market and let them know to cut off the head for you. You can take out the head and just proceed with this recipe. Okay, so now that it's all clean, I am going to now start creating slits on this fish. Purpose, reason is for my spices to go in there really, really well. And you can come to understanding as to why I do this. So that's what you want to do. You also do it on the other side and just cut it. That I patted it dry using a paper towel, I'm going to proceed to add the spices turmeric powder next we're going to add some onion powder i'm also going to add in some garlic powder followed by some adobo seasoning so i'm going to show you exactly what type of all-purpose seasoning that i use the adobo seasoning is this one Hope you can see it. Adobo seasoning, uh, all purpose seasoning. You can get it at any grocery store. And so we're just going to add in some black pepper there. And basically, I'm going to squeeze in juice of half a lime. I really wanted lemon, but I didn't have any lemon, so I'm using lime. And boom, once you're done with that, just get your clean kitchen glove and just rub it with love. Massage it all around. Make sure it's every part is coated with this seasoning. We're getting ready to fry, deep fry our fish. Now, if you choose to bake it, you can also do the same thing. So I'm going to, in this recipe, I'm going to deep fry it. But if you want to grill it, and then set it aside or if you want to bake it you can do that but if you choose the route that i'm using which is the deep frying then you can also do that so this recipe is truly versatile so once my spices are in it looks something like this i know that i'm good to go so the next thing i have here on my stove is just a pan full of oil and I'm going to show you how you know that your oil is ready because I'm heating it up. When it bubbles like that using a wooden spoon, you know that it's All good right, to go. So, so the next step is to add in our fish. Real. Be gentle with it. Add it slowly, okay? So you won't splash oil all over. <laughs> Be careful. Hot oil is dangerous. All right, so we are just going to let that fry brown on the other side. A good five, six minutes, you're done then now you will see once you see like the ring you see the ring with the spices um coming out you see that it's browning up real good we have to turn it on the other side so it can cook as well the other side is fully cooked i just need to turn this fish to the other side so it can cook as well now this is the part where i am taking extreme caution because i do not want the hot oil to pour on me so Boom, we made it. Whew. <laughs> so now we got a beautiful fish cooking again. 
five to six minutes on that other side and here i have my paper towel getting ready to drain off the excess oil once i take this fish out so we're gonna let it sit there let it drain while i show you how i make this sauce all right so here i have some gr uh, green yellow and orange bell pepper i also have some fresh tomato add in some whole green chilies or add in your favorite chili that you like to use you can put it on there right now and let it cook together and so stir it in well as i'm doing so that all this will cook really nicely so just keep stirring it and again medium to low heat and let that sauce come into a simmer don't worry about that chicken bouillon it's going to break down once it starts cooking and so I'm just starting it and I'm going to make sure that my sauce cooks really well. Fantastic. So the total cook time for the sauce is 10 minutes. Here it's five minutes in and as you can see the sauce is thickening. So I know we are almost there. So keep starting at the stage. In fact, reduce the heat to low and continue starting it in. So you can see the sauce has been thickening. This is the consistency you want to see. And then so what I'll do is add in some green chilies and I'm going to do squeeze some juice, lemon juice, and just start it up. And now it is ready. I can turn off the stove and all of that good stuff. See, it's ready. All right. So we are good. We're gonna move on to here. I'll go ahead and take out the paper towel. And take it off. And we're gonna pour our sauce in there. Now to the last step. Look at that coconut sauce looking all good and yummy and the aroma is just delicious. Go ahead and pour that sauce all over the fish. You will need the entire sauce really. So we're going to pour the entire pan onto this fish. And I promise you once you try this recipe you are going to thoroughly enjoy it. This is one of the cuisine on the east coast of east africa that we get to enjoy it is beautiful we eat it with rice you can have it with ugali you can have it basically with whatever it is that you eat fish with and it is delicious i hope you get to try this recipe soon and if you do don't forget to come back and and comment
on the comment section and let me know how it turned out so i'm just gonna pour the entire sauce onto this fish and so be it don't worry about turning it so the other side will it will definitely get well coated once you do that and this is the final dish you guys i hope you get to enjoy this recipe and i thank you so much for tuning in if you're new on this channel hit the subscribe button don't be afraid share tag with your friends relatives neighbors whatever it is and i will see you on the next video